22 Tiger Dude. Yes, master. Are you ready to review the Lego Ninjago movie? Yes, I am, master. Yes, I am. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review the Lego Ninjago movie. So the Lego Ninjago movie has the voice talents of Dave Franco, Fred Armisen, Kumal Nanjiani, Michael Pena, Abby Jacobson, Zach Woods, Olivia Munn, Justin Thorux, and Jackie Chan. So the Lego Ninjago movie tells the story of the six ninja warriors that are defending Ninjago, their home, when the evil warlord Garmadon is attacking the city. However, the ninjas are always getting in the way of Garmadon's plans, and once Garmadon finds out that Lloyd is his son let's just say things start to get pretty complicated from there so the Lego Ninjago movie is a movie I was actually very interested in seeing I've really liked the trailers and I've really been impressed with these Lego movies that have come out so far the Lego movie I like that movie I don't love the movie but I do like the movie it was funny it was creative it was something different to see and it really paid off and I love the Lego Batman movie. That was a very well done movie. It was very funny, very heartwarming too and it was its own thing rather than trying to be the Lego movie which I appreciated. And that's what I was hoping with Lego Ninjago. I don't want Lego Ninjago to be like the Lego movie. I don't want Lego Ninjago to be like the Lego Batman movie. And luckily Lego Ninjago is definitely that and because of that that I can safely say I had a ton of fun with this movie without a doubt now as far as these Lego movies go Lego Batman still stands as my favorite Lego movie personally but this is still a ton of fun the Lego Mation it's really really fluid it still looks really good I thought the Lego Mation always flowed very well I didn't think it looked a little off like with Lego Batman as much as I did love that movie there were some moments where the Lego Mation was a little bit iffy but here in this film honestly there wasn't a single moment where I thought the Lego Mation was a little bit iffy when we focus on the action sequences here in the Lego Ninjago movie it was very cool the voice performances from everyone are all really good everyone did a very good job of really bringing their personalities Dave Franco did a really good job voicing Lloyd the green ninja I really felt for his character I didn't see Dave Franco or anyone else in the recording studio I actually did see these characters and I just thought he did a very good job and just seeing this character trying to discover his purpose I just found to be very interesting Olivia Munn as Lloyd's mom she is not in this film that much but I did really like her and of course as far as the rest of these ninja warriors Fred Armisen did a very good job voicing Cole Kumel Nanjiani did a very good job voicing Jay Michael Pena did a very good job voicing Kai Abby Jacobson did a very good job voicing Nia and Zach Woods did a very good job voicing Zane. Justin Thorox, I hope I pronounced his name right, as the voice of Garmadon was great. His personality really oozed when it came to this character. Garmadon was such an entertaining character. And believe it or not, a character I found myself having sympathy for when we get later on to the film. Without spoiling anything, of course. But just to add to the cherry on top, we also have Jackie Chan as Master Wu and he did a really good job voicing this character and this was definitely a perfect role for Jackie Chan to take because we all know Jackie Chan is into martial arts I mean the guy is very well known for doing these martial arts movies and 
to see him do a movie like this makes sense. I mean, he's in the Kung Fu Panda movies, an anime franchise that happens to deal with martial arts. It makes sense for him to do those films, and it makes sense for him to do a Lego Ninjago movie, and he's perfect for it. He's really great as Master Wu. Like, there's really no one else I could see really voicing this character. Jackie Chan was the perfect fit for this character. When it comes to the writing in Lego Ninjago, I honestly did think it was very well done. Now, now, sure, is this film deep like the Lego movie is? No. Is it trying to be a satire like Lego Batman is? No. And that's what I like about it. It really is its own thing. Now, some could say that this film is definitely geared more towards kids, and I could definitely see that. I think there are still plenty of things for the adults to enjoy, but yeah, as far as like having jokes for adults there definitely isn't as much of that compared to lego movie and lego batman however when it did come to the overall jokes in the lego ninjago movie i did find myself laughing plenty of times there are a lot of very fun gags throughout this film even the gags that are obviously aimed for kids even those jokes definitely worked for me i thought it was very well done and not to spoil anything but the most creative gag that this film comes up with deals with a certain something attacking Ninjago. <laughs> but not only are the jokes just very well done for me, but just the storyline in itself I felt was very well written. I did like all the scenes with Lloyd and the rest of the secret ninja warriors having to defend Ninjago. I actually really liked all of these machine bots that we would see these ninja warriors use that was actually very very cool those were very cool designs i also did appreciate the heartwarming aspects because although yes this is a very funny movie in my eyes but there's actually plenty of heart in this film too well i shouldn't say actually because it's expected in these movies that there's going to be heart but I would say maybe there's more heart than I probably expected for sure in Lego Ninjago and I found it to be very well done. In fact, I'll be honest with you guys, I got a little emotional in two particular scenes. I think you guys will probably catch which ones I'm thinking of when you do see this movie. but. All I'm going to say is two scenes in this film actually did get me a little emotional. And that's honestly thanks to how well executed the heartwarming moments are. But then of course the scenes with Master Wu and Lloyd or Master Wu and the rest of the Secret Warrior Ninjas. I also did find those scenes to be very enjoyable. The song choices in Lego Ninjago I also thought were very wisely used. Besides for maybe one song choice which I will get to my cons the rest of the song choices i did feel really did fit for the overall storyline when we do discover the powers of the six ninja warriors i actually thought that was very impressive now yes granted most people are gonna say they're really similar to avatar the last airbender which they are most of them at least but i mean in lego form it was still just really cool to see and just like with each of these Lego movies, there are really good messages in them, and Lego Ninjago is no different. There's messages about family, honor, respect. Not only can, I'm sure, adults appreciate them, but kids could definitely learn a lot when they watch movies like this. And there are a couple of live action moments in Lego Ninjago that I thought were really well done. Some people might not enjoy them and I can understand why. Me personally, I actually liked these couple of live action moments that we surprisingly did get here in this film. Now, as far as problems do go with Lego Ninjago, I thought the first 20 minutes was very rushed holy moly it was really rushed as far as the structure of the first 20 minutes i thought it was a little choppy luckily the pacing did calm down like it would still be fast but it wouldn't be like rushed and choppy fast it would just be normal fast and the pacing will get just slightly more slower from there but it could have really slowed down within the first like 20 minutes of the movie 
Some of the humor, of course, as, ex as expected, doesn't really land either. Also, I did mention how I really like the song choices here in this film, but there is one song choice that I thought felt out of place. At first, it didn't, but then afterwards, it did, and I'll explain why. Because Master Wu, he likes to play his flute in this film, which I did really like. I loved all the moments when Master Wu was playing with his flute. I thought it added for some very nice comedy right there. He was playing, yeah, the Annie song, It's a Hard Knock Life, you know, Annie from 2014. He actually plays that song in his flute, and when I was hearing that, I was like, hey, yeah, that's cool. I like that, but where it started to feel out of place in this film is after he literally plays a song, the actual song actually plays immediately. Wow, way to really shove that down our throats. Like, I already knew it was an Annie song. You didn't have to automatically play the actual song. I already got that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Maybe the little kids wouldn't, but for someone older like me, I totally got it, and I didn't think that was very necessary. As far as the other Ninja Warriors, I feel like they didn't get as much focus as they should have. They were kind of pushed to the side, honestly, because obviously Lloyd is the main focus, and it's gonna focus more on the scenes between him and Master Wu, or him and his father, Garmadon, which were very great scenes, and I did love those scenes, but I did feel like there should have been more scenes where it focused on Lloyd working with his team, and yes, I did buy them as a team for sure, I'm not gonna say I didn't, but, I just wish that they got more focus because I really thought they were just pushed to the side. Yes, they're in a good chunk of the movie, but I just felt like they were pushed to the side for the majority of it. I will say the movie does drag a little bit too. This movie is an hour and 40 minutes, and there is a point where I did feel it dragged a bit, and it kind of did feel quite anticlimactic. However, that's not a problem with me because it did end in a very, very heartwarming note. But I'm not going to deny I did feel it being pretty anticlimactic. And yes, although not really a problem with me, yes, the story does have its cliches and its predictability. You know where the film is gonna go. But overall, I honestly did have a lot of fun with the Lego Ninjago movie. The Lego Mation is very fluid. The humor is very well done. I thought the voice performances from everyone were really good. It still has the spirit of the Lego movies for sure, but tone-wise, yes, it is quite different. Definitely not geared to adults as much as those two movies, but I think even with that, adults could still find some things to like about Lego Ninjago. It's honestly just solid entertainment. That's the best way to describe Lego Ninjago. It's solid entertainment. I think it is one of the better animated movies to come out this year, considering this year for animated movies really is not very good. I'm gonna give Lego Ninjago three out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Lego Ninjago. This is Twain to Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!